Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. I just guys welcome back to the vlog i just finished my morning workout and i went to grab a coffee so i went to bluestone lane today frankie's bikini ice coconut latte it's super creamy if you're a coconut water person or coconut milk person i think you're really going to love this i'm also going to do a really quick what's in my bag i have my tower 28 spray which i should spray my face Anytime I go to a heated workout class, I spray this before and then I spray this after. My lip balms, I have a original Summer Fridays Vanilla newest lip balm. This is iced coffee. Glossier bomb.com. This is strawberry and this is their OG formula. It's so good. This is Candy Glaze by YSL. It's just a clear pink rip socks because I came from class. A slip hair tie credit card from American Express. I love it. This credit card gives you your top three categories of every month and this can change. January, I have food, travel, equipment. Those are my top three categories. I'll get four points to every dollar spent. They automatically choose your categories for you. This card, however, is going up in fees, which I'm not crazy about. I only like this card because I think it was $295 a year, which I think makes sense. The platinum card is better for a personal card so i find that the american express platinum personal is amazing it has a lot of perks american express platinum for business the perks are not there for me in my honest opinion so i got the gold instead mints from japan they're really thin cute my wallet with all my credit cards the hand cream from sporty and rich one is so important to have a pen on you because you just never know if you have to write something i have some fragrances in case i have to go to a meeting and spray myself and just like a uh, white four down there obsessed with being 30. i feel like this season of my life i know who i am i have money i can treat myself to really nice things found my voice at work i no longer trade my time for money the relationships that i have in friendships are so much better than the ones i had in my 20s my romantic relationship with my partner is better than the relationship i had in my 20s like everything in life is much richer and everything in life is just better, like a hundred times better. It took me a very long time to get here. I had to put in a lot of personal work. There are two important lessons that I wanna share with you. Number one is realizing that you're outgrowing your job, you're outgrowing your career, you're outgrowing the space where you work. Number two is outgrowing friendships. And I had to deal with these like kind of back to back. Number one, approaching your late 20s, early 30s, you're gonna get to a point in your career where you're gonna be like, what else is there? You're going to find that your work that you build yourself up in your 20s is not gonna fulfill you or it's just not gonna hit the same. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not depressed, not anything. It's just your season of life is shifting. Your priorities are shifting. How you fill your cup up is shifting. What lights you up is shifting. It's just a part of your growth and that is okay. I remember I turned 28 and I started to feel like this. There has to be more to life than working at a cool company, doing cool activations, going on a cool brand trip, flying business internationally. Like what else is there? Who am I as a friend? Who am I as a daughter? Who am I as a person without my work identity? And I think people are starting to feel that. People are starting to shift. The work that I used to do just feels different. Corporate is not as important as it used to be. And I'm not saying corporate is bad. I'm not saying corporate is evil. In my early 20s, corporate was the best. I had the best experience. I had the best life. It helped me travel. I got to meet my boyfriend through my corporate job. Like things were great, but there is a time where you have to walk. There's nothing wrong with breaking up with a best friend or not taught that and I wish we were. I stayed in friendships way longer than I should have because this is your best friend. You've known each other since you were in college. You've known each other since you were 18 and you've been through some traumas together and like this is how it is. They're not allowing you to grow at the pace where you want to grow. They're not happy for your success. That's not a real friend and it it is okay for you to stop this relationship and like thrive. Let's talk about how I knew it was my time to leave corporate 
for good. I didn't really enjoy office politics. I promise I made to myself that I'm never going to water myself down to get ahead. Everything that I do in life, I'm really gonna show up as myself. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be kind to others. I'm gonna have integrity. And if I can't do those things, have integrity, be kind, work hard, then I don't belong at this organization because I refuse to compliment someone on their white shirt and tell them their white shirt is great and ask them how their kids are. Like, I don't want to do that dance to get ahead. I want to go to work. I want to do a great job. I want to have a little cute banter with my friends that treat me well. I want to get my check and I want to go live life outside of work. Work is not my family. I don't want to know your pet's name like I don't want to know all that I want to get ahead because of my passions I want to get ahead because of my impact I want to get ahead because of the quality of work I do I was working by myself on the influencer marketing team for a year and a half before I got help and then the help that I got were part-time so I had them like one-fourth of the day they weren't even full-time with me so I just felt like I was constantly drowning and I wasn't enjoying the work that I was doing anymore. And the work that I was doing is amazing. My old boss was incredible. Our founders were so nice. I had a nice budget. Like everything was just like the best job ever. And I felt like I couldn't enjoy it because I was just burning myself out. And also it was like the end of the road for me to have a full-time corporate job. I think I'm better suited in a consultant position where I'm only doing 10 to 20 hours a week. That's my sweet spot. If I'm pushing 50, it's a little too much and then I put my own personal life on the back burner. I only can do what is best for me. I know that sounds so selfish, but when you're a part of a team and it's a slim team already and you're teaching yourself skills and then you have to teach other people skills, it's truly not your responsibility. And I know I'm gonna have a couple people fight with me in the comments on this, but for me personally, if you're making $135,000 and up, sure you can build the bench you can mentor people you can educate if you're barely scraping by making under seventy thousand dollars and you're doing everything you're spearheading your department you're teaching your manager how to do her job she's stealing your work there's no need for you to build the bench and mentor anyone and teach anyone the skills that you have at your level do not let older people fool you that in order for you to climb to the top you need to mentor you need to take on a bigger load you need to do xyz no all you need to do is sharpen your skills add all the tools to your toolbox learn and get out and keep growing in your career keep making more money keep learning from new people that's how you're going to grow into who you want to be guys that was so much talking but make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful i will see you in next week's video bye